What's up, gamers? Welcome to today's episode of our series from start to finish and grounded, giving you hundreds of tips along the way. Today, we're going to be going and grabbing the pinch whacker. That is today's objective on here. We're going to make sure we get the pinch whacker so that any thing we come across here in the future, we will be able to eliminate it easily. And we're also going to be utilizing our brittle quartzite and our marbles and potentially trying to get ladybug armor. Um, so what we're going to do first and what we're going to need first is we are going to need fungal growth. We definitely need fungal growth. We're also going to need dry grass. So we want to make sure that's readily available. We need one brought burst in order to get the pinch whacker. And that's really about it. But we also need... Let's see here. Do I have the stuff to make a gas mask? I do. Easy peasy. So we're going to throw this gas mask on. We've got our six spears. We're going to go into the haze, and we are going to collect some fungal growth. Now, normally this is a little bit easier when we have the appropriate uh, axe to chop the fungal growth, but we're just going to go in here and try and see if we can't get a hold of some larva and... Uh, hopefully um get it fairly easily now there are a couple what do you call these uh gnats over here or not gnats mites like infected mites that i'm going to be going for first because they're really easy to kill um we're just going to go follow these trenches right to this rock right here and there's going to be some infected mites surrounding it hopefully we don't get overran by other things um but i'm going to go ahead and Try and throw some spears at these guys. These guys are surprisingly uh, pretty strong, really. So, it takes three spears to kill them. Try to do this without actually getting hurt. Come on now. Come on, stamina. Okay, then we got a couple more. And this is pretty much what we're going to do here. Gather up some fungal growth. There's a couple different places that's easy to get fungal growth, but this is always how I do it, especially like in my speed runs and stuff like that. I just come in here and snatch up a couple of these guys, and then we're going to try and see if we can't grab a few more. Um, ultimately, we just need one brot burst. You know what? We're, we're fine with just this. We'll make just this work for now. We got five fungal growth, which will, I believe, allow us to get two or something like that. Let's chop a, let's chop a dry grass, too. Make sure we got enough dry grass to get enough and then we're going to get our brat burst and get our pinch waka. we really need some stamina buffs dude that's like up there high on the on the charts as far as what we actually need to progress here because stamina jesus dude it's hard to come by all right so the last time on this series that we went to the ant hill there was like 55 eggs it was pretty crazy um, hopefully we don't get that many this time. I believe if I do see that many, I'm probably just going to grab two because everything else would just go to waste since we don't have a huge supply of, of, uh, stuff. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to run past these guys, run right past them, go down here and get our eggs. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hopefully we got some right here in the main corridor. If not, we'll have to run down to the nests. These guys are going to start biting me. All right, we got a couple right here. That's all we need. All right, pardon me. Excuse me. Let me out. Let me out. Coming through. Coming through. Coming through. All right, we're out of here. Hopefully. Come on, stamina. Come on, stamina. Let me go. All right, cool. We're out. All right, so we should have the stuff we need to make our first brat burst. And uh, maybe even potentially two. That's why I grabbed two eggs. I don't know if I got enough fungal growth. I can't remember if it's just one or two. I mean, two or three fungal growth to make our first one. But uh, we're going to try and find our little science center thing here. Where the heck is it? All right, cool. Right here. And brought burst. Cool. So we got that. Oh, we can actually make two. Nice. You, sir, I do not appreciate... Chasing me down. Not even the tiniest bit. Okay, so can I make a few more pebblet spears, perhaps? Oh, I can make an acorn shovel. I don't believe I have one of those yet. <gasps> Take that with us. And pebblet spears. I can make a few more. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. Um, what do we try on? Sprigs? 
Okay, I want to make a few more because I want to take on another ladybug and uh, potentially get some, some uh, what's it called? Ermager, Ermager, dude. I'm struggling with words right now. Okay, we'll put that in there. We got the broad burst. Let's go get the pinch whacker. All right, on our way to the pinch whacker. So we're, where we're want, gonna want to go is we're gonna want to go over here to the milk carton, uh, and it's gonna be right on that wall there. We are potentially going to have to fight off some mosquitoes, so we're going to take the long way around. Hopefully we don't have to do that and see if we can't grab a ladybug. I do believe we have uh, the ladybug head that we need to make the actual head of the armor. I think really all we need is, is um, what is it I'm trying to say here, dude? My words are not coming out of my mouth. My word, not coming out of my mouth. All right, let's put that back on. Let's see here, craft, ladybug. So yeah, we need a head, two parts. Uh, we also need flower petals and four parts. And four flower petals and five parts. Okay, so we need roughly 11 parts, I think, uh, which isn't too big of a deal to make the full set. All right, we're on the road, man. On the road to the pinch whacker, 400 centimeters away. Usually this takes seconds to do if you have Natural Explorer, which I do not have. Maybe we'll get it at some point here. I'm trying to pretty much power through the game as fast as I can, give you guys the most um, value, you know. I don't know why I keep accidentally hitting that. Usually my spears are on my three. That's probably why. There we go. That's much better. Take the sip. Probably should make a quick stop by here and kill the bombardier beetle. If we can do it without getting overran by mites, that would be wonderful. Where's he at? I thought I heard him back here. Where you at, buddy? Oh, this way. He's getting upset with the uh, with the mites, it sounds like. All right, let's see. Where you at, bud? I can hear you. Ow, you hit those. Every time. Are you going to attack me? Ooh, not like that. Don't sneeze on me, bro. Your first bombardier. Well, maybe not first. I think we killed some in a previous episode, but no biggie. No biggie. All right. To the hole in the wall. Dun 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 Did we get boiling gland from that? No. Oh yeah, we did, maybe. Do, 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 do. 200 centimeters and counting. Another stink bug. Probably need to kill one another one of those, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now, I don't think. I do have my gas mask. Okay, we're gonna have to take the long way around because of uh, mosquitoes, I'm assuming. Yes, mosquitoes. Alright. I do need to peep things. I haven't peeped crap, dude. I have not peeped nothing. We got to peep everything. Let me get the stink bug right quick. I have not peeped nothing. There should be larvas over here, maybe somewhere. There we go. Peep them. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right, now this part's gonna be a little bit of a pain. Um, there's actually, you know what? We'll take the we'll take the easy way. We'll take the easy way just so that I can show you guys. You can get up there without building. Maybe it's the easy way, maybe not. Uh, but I'll show you this way for sure. So come with me, and you'll see a way to get up on top without building. Ooh. Piece candy. If you block after you clay, like clay and then block, it'll let you clay again really quickly. <gasps> oh, I see him. Croak, he's a big boy. If we get hit one time, we die though. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, are you stuck, my friend? Uh oh, I don't have anything to block. Come here. Okay, I need my spheres back. Can I have my spheres back, please? Thank you. 
That's only five. Where's the rest? Oh! Give them to me. Come on. Let's go. Oh, you're just going to yell? Rude. Ow, oh, that hurt. All right, you need to die here. You need to die here. I got one spear left. Charge me. That's the compliance badge at work. All right, cool. We got it. Dude, imagine if I get the ladybug gold card. I'd be so mad. So many people would be like F's in the chat, dude. So many people would be F's in the chat. That would be terrible. All right, so pretty much the route we're going to take here is we're going to jump on this clover. Jump on this clover and up on this one. There's a blade of grass right here. Gonna slide this way, jump on top of this one, on top of this one, on top of this one, and we're in the upper yard. Well, the first section of the upper yard. Um, now we have to make it to the second section of the upper yard, which is uh, a little bit more difficult, mainly because there's an orb weaver over here that's gonna cause problems. So normally when I do my Black Widow speed runs, this is the route that I take to get up here. Although I have not done or attempted it in quite some time. It's been a, it's been a little while. Maybe I need to re, maybe I need to re up it. So we're going to jump onto this <coughs> guy here. There's a couple different ways up here, really. But this is my favorite way to go. On here, on here, over to this one, over to this one. And all right, now we're in the upper yard. Easy peasy. Now what we're going to want to do is make sure that our dandelion is equipped because if not, then that will, it will not be possible. So make sure you bring a dandelion for this. And then we're going to go into photo mode, make sure we jump down at the right exact spot. Uh, hopefully we can get away without uh, tiger mosquitoes attacking us. That is goal number one. We do not want any tiger mosquitoes. All right, we're almost there. We are almost there. Come on. Okay, so photo mode. We are exactly where we need. Wait, is that it? Yeah, that's it down there. <coughs> All right, we are exactly where we need to be. And we fall in. You might want to save it before you do this, just in case you mess it up. And here we go. We're going to get out our brought burst. We're going to right click to drop it so we don't throw it and it goes flying somewhere else. And we're going to apparently kill ourselves because that's the way the cookie crumbles. Um, that's exciting. Load last save. Where was that at? Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Jesus Christ. Ay, 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 ay. <gasps> Where the heck? When did I put a bed there? Excuse me. Big brain. Big brain in the building. It might have been when I jumped down uh, from... Yeah, I think I actually built that. Okay, whatever, dude. Big, big on purpose play there. I cannot believe I just blew myself up first thing first. Uh, where the heck am I? Okay, here we are. I think. Where am I, dude? Where am I? Alright, so don't blow yourself up with a brat burst. I got stuck on the wall. You know, things happen. It is what it is. These are 100% real, authentic videos of me doing stupid things. And we're going to avoid the orb weaver and redo this a second time for those that might have missed it the first time. Jump up here. Hopefully the orb weaver doesn't troll us. There we go. Okay, let's try this again. Luckily, I still have my dandelion. <laughs> I cannot believe that, dude. That's so funny. Oh, I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video, but some of you are probably wondering, Seether, why are you wearing a shirt with color in it? I thought you were just this lifeless, like, mutant that only wears black. And the answer is yes. That's uh, that's the answer. 
All right, let's try this again. <clears throat> Not there. Come on, let's go. Before our hang time runs out. All right, there we go. Let's try this one more time, shall we? Holy. All right, so here's your pinch whacker right here. Best weapon in the game, especially early game. We get to take all these cool materials with us. And don't forget to grab this rotten berry charm as well. <clears throat> let's see here. Can we get rid of those? All right. Now let's go back to base and let's uh, upgrade it a little bit. Now, typically what I tell people is don't upgrade the pinch whacker um, until it needs repaired. That's like a really big tip, honestly, because uh, once you upgrade it to level five, you're going to need you're going to need a. Uh, Repair glue, and you're not going to get repair glue until you defeat the Black Ant Lab, I believe. So I suggest only repairing it while upgrading it, because once you upgrade it, that repairs that repairs it. So probably should go that route, because at least that'll buy you time to get uh, to get your... Wait, where where are we? Mysterious machine right there. That's where we're headed. Yeah. So save your save your upgrades. Go ahead and upgrade your armor. If you've got ladybug armor, I highly suggest ladybug armor. It's the best armor in the game, in my personal opinion. I would go with that. It's so weird walking through here with all this grass because I done chopped it all down on my mega build world. So weird. But yeah. So on the next episode, we're surely going to go into the pond lab. And that's going to be the plan. We're going to go into the pond lab, and then the one after that, we'll do the haze lab, and then we'll do the black ant lab, and, you know, we'll just keep on going one bit at a time. We'll do mixers, all that good stuff, until we are completely done with the game. And then, you know, hopefully I have helped some people out along the way. Hopefully. That's the plan. Gonna eat this Oreo just because I can. Maybe even smash this meal here. Get me totally topped off. Mm, 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 mm. We got the pinch whacker. Pinch whacker used to actually act as an axe that you could use to chop down trees and stuff, but they took the, that ability away. And now it's just kind of a one off mystery, mystery weapon, but it's really, really good. Especially for wolf spiders, because they're weak to axes. So this will allow us to go kill a couple wolfies now. Kill a couple wolfies. We got some raw weevil meat. Boom. Sweet. We'll just go ahead and throw that on the... All right, remove that marker. We'll throw that on the fire, and we'll sleep. That'll be cooked when we're done in the morning. Spoiler alert! I'm skipping. You don't want to know about it. Okay. All right. There's all that. Uh, we've got seven bug parts, two heads. I'm going to go ahead and try and see if I can't make another one. Perfect. And throw all this crapola in there. We're going to scan the things that we can. I should have scanned some stuff before I went to, s before I went to sleep because I'm pretty sure there's still more things in here. Oh, actually, it's pretty... Pretty complete, I guess. Uh, throw the charm in, all this good stuff. Yeah, we're not going to be doing much base building on this one. If you if you want to see any base building, make sure you uh, go check out my other series, my Mega Build ser series, and that will get you all the base building uh, you could possibly imagine. But this is where we're going to live for this whole entire thing, probably. Just this little bitty place. Um, all of my acorn armor is about to break. So with that being said, let's... Do I want to upgrade my acorn armor? Nah, not really. Not really. Okay. Anyway, hopefully you guys got some value from this video. Um, on the next one, we're going to take our pinch whacker and we're going to go do the pond lab. So make sure you guys like this video. Comment down below if I helped you out. And subscribe for more awesome grounded content. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Hey.